And the U.S. military has called off the recovery operation for that Chinese spy balloon that was shot off the, down off the coast of South Carolina earlier this month. Navy search teams were able to successfully retrieve debris from the large balloon in the Atlantic Ocean. They've sent those pieces to an FBI lab in Virginia, where they're now being examined. The military has also ended the search for the flying objects shot down over Lake Huron and Alaska after days of fruitless searches. Flashback. They said that this is in 47 feet of water. We had already looked at the ocean shelf out here up to about 35 miles before you go out. It can go up to 600, 700 feet. So if it's in 47 feet, that is a very precise, excellent depth for them to recover it in. It also means they know precisely where it came down, that it didn't get lost in the fall, and they're out there looking for it. They know where it is. The payload for this balloon was apparently the size of three buses. That's pretty big. Were we confident there was not a nuclear weapon uh, in that payload? Were we confident it wasn't carrying biological weapons, pathogens, or toxins that could have been dumped into a reservoir or spread across croplands? So. Uh, I'm very interested to learn, if we can, publicly, just what sort of sensor suite was in the payload of, of, the, uh, uh, of the balloon. You know, being able to capture, hopefully undamaged, who knows, um, you know, what should be their cutting-edge surveillance technology is just a huge intelligence win. Again, I think bringing it down over water, where uh, we have naval capabilities to get this thing, um, is a lot better than what it would have looked like had it been shot down and, you know, fallen into a granite mountaintop. And with the balloon shot down, what happens with it now? Jose, according to a senior U.S. military official, the recovery effort there is already underway. There are Navy and Coast Guard vessels in the region creating a security perimeter. The debris is believed to be in 47 feet of water, and recovery should be quick. Jose? Military officials say the debris is spread out over a field of seven miles, but it's in shallow water, so the recovery process is expected to be short. So China is reprimanding, and no surprise here, but China is reprimanding or threatening the U.S. after the balloon takedown.